Today is a big milestone. And I'm sure you're all wondering what it looks like in real life and how it works. Well, want to know more. It's finally here. When it's open, it's a tablet offering a big screen experience. Thank you. So what you just saw was Samsung unveiling their first phone that will have a foldable display. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier knows best here and I'm excited about this phone. I know some of you are as well, so let's talk about it. Now the first thing is that this is not the final design of this phone. It looks really boxy and blocky. The phone is actually inside of this protector case because Samsung wants to be a little bit secretive about what the final design is going to be. But we are able to see the phone in action where you're folding and unfolding it. So when you do unfold it, you will be presented with a 7.3 inch display and this is going to be in their affinity line of displays and I actually call it their affinity flex display uh, so it should be really good quality and also too it's going to be rated to be able to be folded and unfolded hundreds of thousands of times and so Samsung says that this thing should be able to last a long time but like anything with a moving part or moving piece inside of it you never know but hopefully that is the case so yeah I'm just really excited just to be able to carry around a small tablet like the iPad mini and my phone with me at the same time and I think people who like the iPad mini like myself uh, will definitely find themselves attracted to this phone because I like to be able to watch movies or play games on a bigger screen but of course you don't want to carry the thing around with you all the time so I'm excited just about the concept itself now when you do fold it up you will have a cover display is what they call it and then basically a display on the outside which will act just like a regular phone and they have um, little tweaks inside of the software that will allow you to be able to be using an app when it's unfolded and then when you fold it that app will just automatically just go to that screen on the outside and then when you have the phone unfolded you will be able to run up to three apps at the same time which is a cool thing because most tablets right now today that have a lot more screen real estate don't allow you to do that so this is definitely something I'm looking forward to and these software tweaks are also part of this new software revamp that Samsung announced called One UI and this is aimed at making the UI a lot better and easier to be able to switch between different devices no matter what the sizes are and also just making it a lot easier to be able to navigate and Samsung is working with Google to make sure that Android works well on this form factor and I just think from Google standpoint this is going to be good because they know that other manufacturers like LG and Huawei are going to be making foldable display phones as well so it's good to get a little bit ahead of the curve with that. Now oddly enough Samsung didn't say anything about this phone supporting the S Pen which I just think that is made for even more so than the Galaxy Note. So if they are able to put the S Pen inside of this phone so you can pull it out and be able to use it on that 7.3 inch display I think that's going to be a win. And then also too I do want to know what the price point is going to be because the Galaxy Note 9 starts at $1,000 so it's kind of safe to say that this phone is going to cost more than that. And so I can assume, I'm just going to take a random guess that this phone will probably cost at least $2,000. And that may be a little bit generous. It could cost a little bit more, but we'll see where the final price ends up. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all that Samsung told us about this phone. I mean, they said that they're ready to start mass producing this phone in just a matter of months. So it looks like they may be targeting a 2019 release date. So that would definitely be something cool. And I can see them possibly releasing this alongside the Galaxy Note 10 because the Galaxy S10 is going to come out in just a few months. They don't want to kind of, you know, take away from the thunder of that phone. So I can see this new foldable phone launching with the new Note 10. But I'm excited about this phone. What are you thinking about this? Do you want this foldable phone display or do you just want a phone with a big display? Just one big single display? Let me know down in the comments down below. And also too, be sure to follow me on my social media networks and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Just hit the little notification bell as well so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace. I was trying to emulate folding the phone and that came out a lot cornier than I thought. So anyway, I'm in it regular. Peace. Stupid.